My son had a school project to make something out of things that would have been thrown away. So I decided to make a birdhouse out of a wooden pallet. But first we need to take it apart. As this was his project, he would be doing most of the work and I would teach him how to use all the tools safely. After a crowbar didn't work, we used a jigsaw to cut the wood. We only needed small pieces anyway. So this is our cut list. This is what the birdhouse will look like in the end, hopefully. Two move pieces, one front, one back, a base and two side pieces. We sorted through the pallet wood to decide which pieces would be used for each part of the birdhouse. After a quick safety briefing, I showed him how to sand the edges of the wood on the belt sander. We decided to join the boards with bells, so mark the positions on the board. And then it was time to start filling the hole. After drilling holes into both pieces, he added dowels and glue to secure the pieces together. Once that had dried, we could cut the pieces to size as miter saws. We could get two pieces out of this bit, so we matched up to the first one and then cut again. Now it was time to do the ends of the birdhouse. We taped two pieces together to cut both ends at the same time, ensuring that they would match perfectly. When all the outside pieces were cut, we checked for size and it was then a design change was made. I wanted a little ledge for the birds to perch on at the front, so we trimmed the side pieces a little shorter. Next it was time to glue up. We decided to use pin nails to hold the pieces together while the glue dried. It was his first time using a nail gun, so after showing him a few times, he felt confident enough to do it himself, and he did a great job. We needed hinges for the roof, just so that you could open it and clean inside the birdhouse. So we took them from an old bathroom cabinet, no longer needed. Take this, put it on there. Right, can you see the red line? Yeah, okay. Uh, it needs to be right on it. Perfect. 
fold this. Right, do it. <laughs> okay, let's take these. <laughs> Next it was time to make the roof pieces, using all the same steps as before to join the boards. By now he'd become quite confident in knowing what to do so he was doing it with very little input from me at all. We cut a 45 degree angle onto the roof pieces to account for the pitch. And they matched up perfectly first time. some in that bit as well. Oh, nuts. What? What? I nailed it at the table. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Shall we put that in the video? Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather put that one in the video. It was at this point that there was some discussion about the size of the overhang. I thought the overhang at the sides was too big and my son thought the overhang at the front was too big. But eventually we came to an agreement on the best way to make it. And we're both really happy with the results.
Now the roof was decided upon, we glued and nailed it in place, then added the hinges so one side would allow access for cleaning. I used a spade drill bit to make the access hole for the birds. Great Scott! Then it was onto sanding and plenty of it. And that's it, one finished birdhouse with roof access for cleaning. I'm very proud of my son for how hard he's worked. He's learned to use some tools he's never used before and he's learned how to do it safely. He handed his project in at school a few weeks later and wouldn't you know it, he got top marks. The birdhouse is now in my grandparents' garden for the local birds to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe try this for yourself. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.